Oh, shoot. Oh, heck yeah, my buddy Brian. Hello. John, it's Brian. Hey, dude. Guess what? I finally got the metal, the Firebird. Oh, they got you the roof this time and not another fender? That's great. Yeah, I didn't need the fender, but uh, definitely was happy to see a, a roof instead of a fender this time around. Awesome. Well, I guess now the question comes, when do you want to do that? Uh, can we do it like tomorrow? Tomorrow? Holy crap, I'm 2,000 miles away here in Arizona and I'm in uh, Indiana, but uh, you know, I guess any challenge should be accepted at some point. So what's the what's the plan? You got all the tools? I got all the tools and I got three days to pull this off. Three days to make this happen? Man, you're gonna add on some more, uh, I guess you could challenge to the whole situation, but I, I think it's doable. So um, I guess I need to get my stuff packed up and head your direction, but uh, so you've got a good roof panel, you've got tools, so what's the reason we couldn't get it done? Sweet, now remember, I got the roof panel, I got the two sail panes that you sent me, and then I yeah, have yeah. that rear filler panel, so we got four pieces of metal. Oh, heck, I think, I think we can get it done in three days, so I say we make this thing happen. Sweet, then I will see you tomorrow. Sounds good, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning, you better be ready. I'll have coffee brewing. Yeah, even better. All right, we'll see you then, buddy. All right, okay, bye. 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 And guess we're gonna do what they say can't be done, a three-day thrash slapping a roof on a car? Well, better get me a plane ticket, get my stuff packed, and we'll see you guys in Arizona. What took you so long? It was nearly 2,000 miles. Did you at least bring your tools? Let's get this started. Let's do this. So let's see what we have here. Now this thing is in horrible, horrible, horrible shape. I'm telling you, it's the worst roof panel ever. And I just can't believe how bad that truly, genuinely is. I, it just... Hey, I'm here with Brian. This is his car. As you can see, the roof looks absolutely 100% awful it's kind of like going to the planetarium I mean, you check us out you can kind of make out shapes up here i kind of see like maybe the little dipper. The, yep, little dipper the big dipper and there's the mars sitting right about there that rust color kind of gives away that it's mars so obviously we got some serious problems and of course there hey brian there's your anus over there this one right here oh right here <laughs> Uh, call us our three-day thrash. I get this roof panel replaced, but we've got some more pieces to do besides just the roof that were damaged from that vinyl top. What you see here, of course, is the filler panel, the sail panel, which goes underneath the roof, and then we've got the passenger side to do, and of course, once you get this side done, we've got to do the same over here to the uh, driver's side. Then we plan to do the filler panel next, then we'll cut it into that roof. Is it gonna work? Heck, I don't know. We're just playing cards. Oh, hey, Magnet. Um, I'm not allowed to touch those. I'm not, I'm not allowed to touch those. Let's just go ahead and just kind of trim through both layers. Okay. And that way, then once it gets popped, then I can just go tack, 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 hopefully. Hey Brian, go ahead and turn the gas on. All right. Uh oh. 
Are these gauges supposed to move, John? Well, yeah, it should come about 20, 40 PSI at least. Uh-oh. Uh, did you forget to turn the tank off last night? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm off to fill the bottle up again. All right, Brian. Safe travels. Now we're getting ready to do some more welding here. Get, get my welding mask it. There, what? Turn off one. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It's a gentle reminder. Turn the damn tank off when we're done welding, moron. <laughs> <laughs> Tape, in case you guys had a question what this tape was all about, this is just kind of one of my uh, fail saves, a little more thing. We'll take tape measurements with a tape measure, but let's be honest, all of us can read line and picture a whole lot better than numbers. So securely fasten the tape, tie it together, give it some kind of structure. Then when you put pull the tape back down, this is a point taken off the old one. I'm right in the same spot. I know that that point then my opening is about the same. Um, so I'm gonna start right now, this thing is adjusted good. So I'm gonna tack weld it here work the radius out here, and we'll drop our screws through here and do our spot weld. So this thing's gonna go in actually relatively quick. So, get the camera, but the trunk deck actually still dips right there a little bit. Oh yeah, this does. Yeah, the trunk deck, I think. You're right, we should have bought a red one. Yeah, we should have got a red one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll where we need to be. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, it's a little warm. Someone burned it. It burned it all up. So this here is, is how you're going to level off that We're radius. Try to change the radius of this, so. 
See if it's move? Yep. Yeah, I hit it probably a little too hard. Get a little bigger body hammer. Get my framing hammer out. I've got a high spot here still. Keep in mind, we've got a little bit of filler work there. So you put that in the equation. Go just a little more. Oh, there we go. Now, you'll put a little filler in here, and I think you'll be where you need to be. Just one more hit here. For the main event, time to pop the top on the old rusty crusty bird. Uh, this is what I've been waiting for. We've got our sail panels installed, deck filler panel installed, lined up with the massage trunk deck. Now it's time for what we've all been waiting for. The whole reason I got a little plan to come out here to Arizona. All we really have to do, since I've already done all this cutting so far, is literally just cut the front on the window edge and on the rear and right here in this channel. And I've already this side's pretty rusty. I'll just notch the sides. I'm going to flip it over and then we'll spend probably the next hour or so peeling back all the dead metal. But getting the main roof skin off probably going to be less than probably two minutes of actual work. It's going to go pretty quick. So I'm going to dig into it. Got the desk ready. Let's make this thing happen. Yeah. Ah! Oh, dog. Here, I got one arm. Oh, 
I can stretch it to you. Okay. So this is just the sound deadeners. Actually, normally that's attached to the roof skin. It's kind of falling down over time. And you're right, there's no rust from, from where it was at. No, no severe pitting surface, but no severe pitting or scale rot through, right? And these are the bows? That is the center, but that one's a little different. These are the bows for headliner. Okay. Should headliners in, it'll snap into these. They're, they're worn out probably from dry okay. down plastic. But yeah, this is the center one. It's a little different. But yeah, keep the bows in location. They are different. Right, just like in a Porsche. Yeah. Each one don't, is unique. Don't mix them up. Yeah. So, so I, one, I leave them just two, like it is. Just leave it Five okay. bows. One, two three, four, five. This one's a little special one, so. Okay. Special, right? Pretty cool, huh? That is cool. We better stop for a uh, mountain dew break. Soda break. Stay tuned. Do a commercial break. Mountain Dew should be sponsoring us. I've tried. They don't listen. They don't listen? Not yet. Anybody out there can help me with that? Thanks. show you what it looks like surprising how bad that roof was we got of course peeled off but the part really is amazing is there's a little bit of rust here in this corner that's probably the worst of it but the rest of it i mean it's not rotted through it's not really damaged it's surprisingly in very nice condition um of course i've already got this all prepped for the next part but went ahead and pulled all the metal off the ends here and kind of buzzed off the spot well so i'm gonna do a little more cleaning up on here and well through primer that whole scene. And then inside in the gutter here, and actually kind of ground out what was left of the old roof panel. Came out pretty nice. And then the front, do the same thing. Peel back all the metal, and I'll buzz down the spot well. So do a little more cleaning on it through here. And we'll do well through primer on the leading edge, backside, and both the gutters. But just a part that's just amazing on that car. So that's the worst roof I've probably ever seen. I know I've said it sound like a broken record, but I'm telling you, that thing was just a hot mess. And then for these pieces, this has only been wiped off by hand. They're not even rusted out. This is about a normal surface rust for a car. It had a good roof. So I'm really super happy about that. But we're going to go ahead and paint all the inner structure with some like POR 15 or something to kind of encapsulate what's in here, slow the rust down. But, you know, being an Arizona car like this, it's not like where I'm from, Indiana. It's going to rust real quick. It's going to stay pretty dry. But it's worth putting a little coat of something, something on to keep it protected. Professional at work. <laughs> well, no, no, not there. <laughs> oh my. This lays down pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's worked real good. We've got your well through primer on all the edges, POR 15, seal up all the rust that the factory says is acceptable. And we decided that was not cool. And really kind of the point now. I'm going to flop a roof panel on there and get the final fitment and start burning it in. Alan. 
this is the only part I'm really fighting for the whole project that's not bad. This is it? It really hasn't been bad. So far, so good then. Yeah. So. I'm gonna call that good. And it actually rides right down. There's a step in the sail panel. It's actually in that groove. So nice. that's, that's where it needs to be. Like building the house is that drywall sound. Yeah. The drywall anchor skips. So um, basically, gonna drop the screw about every two inches now. Move the vice grips to two more screws. And every two inches, you finally get it all clamped together. But it's pulling up nice. Good. Real close to do some final welding. Uh, we've got our fitment here. Now, normally the factory, and we talked about this, uses plug welds, but we're not going that route. We're going to butt weld this because it's say it lined up just about perfect with the ridge, which is polished off the edge ever so slightly. So, not going to do the lead in this one. So, not going to get the lead out in the future next time, I guess, if there was a next time. But get you up close, first looks good. We'll do the same thing across the front, stitch it down with some screws, and then come through here and weld this together. And I think we're going to be done. Post this on your page. Mine, Brian's. Which one's good? Which one's not so good? And, and we're done. Done? Like finished? One hundred percent done. That's done. the last well. No more. No more holy roof. Done. Oh, yeah. The three-day thrash is finished. Wow. Isn't that cool though? We did this. I like it. I like it. It's one of those things that you know. I never put a roof panel. I wasn't gonna tell you from the beginning. You never put a roof panel on? <laughs> well, no. I was pretty confident. You had some skills. I had some skills. So we made it happen. So a lot of fun hanging out, playing yeah. garage, playing cars. And the unfortunate thing is I got to return back to Indy, but uh, that's just such is life. But uh, I've left you with uh, a lot of cool memories. Put your roof on. I got that on my, I guess, a notch in my belt saying I've done Put a roof resume. Panel. On my resume saying I am the bird man again. So right. if you guys need help with that on your car, if you want to hang out like me and Brian did, or heck, if you need some help in your car, give us a call. We'd love to come play cars with you guys, too, just the same. Now, I can't do it every day because I'm not made of money, but in all seriousness, you guys got a little thing happening I'd love to see you guys get your cars back like this because this is a yeah. really cool opportunity that uh, we got to play. A little airplane ticket, not too bad to get out here and visit. And then Brian's even got some permanent tattoos now on his arm from the, the PR-15. Yeah, thanks don't guys. The, yeah. Don't get that on your arms because that stuff's an absolute hot mess. And it takes, what, six, what, two weeks, four weeks for it to wear off? That's what they say. Yeah, so what it's, they say. No, and don't so. hurt your hand the day before, you know, someone comes to health. That was his excuse to getting out of work, but I know what it really was. But uh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's nice. looking great. I'm glad no more holy roof. It doesn't make that cool ringing sound no more. No. Nope. So I think my brother'd be proud. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can see same going back down the road again and doing its thing. Yes. So. I think we deserve a cold one. I think we've earned that one. So let's do this. Let's do this. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a roof no longer a topless bird in Arizona because you get burnt that way, I suppose. But here we go, got all welded up. These are factory weld locations, need a little filler in here. Not gonna take a whole lot. Now, you were following along the whole situation. Now we end up just kind of doing a butt weld between the two panels. This gonna have a little bit more of a gap. But the amount of filler now to refill this in, it's gonna be a whole lot less lead. 
We're not gonna use lead, but it, all metal. But it's gonna be a whole lot thinner this way. So it's definitely not how the factory did it, but I think it's the better repair because we put, dropped that roof on. I mean, it just, I don't know how it happened. It lined up spot on. Very little work to get that to line up. And you do little plug welds in here that lined up pretty good. And then all across here, we did that the first first video, putting sail panels in, filler panel in, a little trunk tweaking. But the biggest thing was getting the roof put in and it's done. We've got about 20 hours of thrashing over the last three days. And some of that's a little bit of playtime, a little bit of laughing, but hey, we gotta keep it fun while we're doing this stuff. And then got to hang out with my buddy Brian in Arizona. And I got to have fun uh, not catching his car on fire three times. But <laughs> we did pretty good. We didn't burn the house down. So I'd say it was success. So, and then the same thing on this side, nice tight weld. And what you'll do here, a little bit of filler and we'll call it good. Yeah, buff a few little welds, but I'll tell you what, I think we've earned a little bit of a, a break, had a little fun. Of course, we've already had a lot of fun, but I think we've done enough. I'm gonna call it quits and get this video out there, you guys. I appreciate you checking me out in Arizona, hanging out with Brian Minson from Porsche and Pontiac and his garage. He gave me the opportunity to put a roof on. And like I said in the very beginning, I didn't tell him I've never done one before, but he let me do it anyway, but I think it came out great. So appreciate you following me, and we'll catch you guys next time. Well, job well done, well done, sir. Did you touch, touch, touch tips? You touch tips? Oh! <laughs> it's gonna be an outtake later, you know that? Uh huh? Did we become best friends? Oh, we're gonna do it one more time. One more time. You touch again. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> oh, outtake. All right. One, two, three. Well, here's your job well done. Uh, uh, Do we just. Become best friends? Did we just touch chips? Oh. oh. Nice. All right. Uh, focus. Focus, people. One, two, three. Well, here's your job well done, sir. See you guys next time. Done. Easy. <laughs> she was like, wow. Oh, we <laughs> gotta get you the car scene. <laughs>